Lou Hode was born in November 1934 in Sydney. At 12 years old, he played his first match against Ken Rosewall, who was from the other side of town and the same age as Hode. In 1953, 19-year-old Hode was in good form in the Davis Cup Challenge round against America. Match point coming up. And there it is. Love 40, three match points to Hode. Rubbers over, Lewis holds one in five sets. The 1954 Davis Cup Challenge round in Sydney had a record crowd of over 25,000 spectators. Hode won his first Grand Slam title at the Australian in 1956 against Rosewall. He then won the French against Sven Davidson. Lou Hode was big, strong, hit the ball extremely early with a very, very short swing. In fact, he used a racket that was 26 and a half inches long instead of 27 because he, it felt more like a toothpick and he could wield it around uh, quicker than he felt he could do with a 27-inch racket. After winning the Wimbledon final against Rosewall, Hode faced Rosewall again in the US final, trying to complete the Grand Slam, but Rosewall won in four sets. In the 1956 Davis Cup Challenge round, Australia once again faced America. Hode had Flam's measure and quickly raced to a 3-1 lead. A lovely shot coming, watch it. Match point. Hode faced Ashley Cooper in the 1957 Wimbledon final. Hode then turned professional. It's every player's ambition to, uh, to play at Wimbledon and to be able to win it, as I was fortunate enough to do. And I think that's, uh, well, it's the, it's the cream on the pie, I suppose, isn't it? In the 1958 World Tour, Hode led Pancho Gonzalez 15 matches to seven, but lost the tour 51 matches to 36. In 1959, he finished with a winning 15 to 13 record in the round robin world tour against Gonzalez, but lost a few matches to Ashley Cooper and Mal Anderson, so finished second to Pancho. Hode also won a year long tournament series that year. In the 1960s, Hode's form declined and he was increasingly troubled by a bad back which had bothered him since the late 1950s. He retired in 1966 and played only sporadically until 1973. He set up a tennis resort in Spain with his wife, former Australian finalist Jenny Staley, and died there of leukemia in July 1994, aged 59. I played against when he was in his prime was Pancho Gonzalez and Lou Hode when he was, when he was playing well. When I was 10 years of age, um, I used to lie by the radio and, and listen to Ken Rosewell and Lou Hode, who were just burst onto the scene around 19 years of age and playing for Australia and playing at Wimbledon. And, you know, that was my, my dream at that 10 years of age to one day if I could do that. We kind of fed off each other as far as trying to improve our tennis. And, you know, Lou's game was very powerful with a lot of flexibility, a lot of touch with all this experience. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.